What's going on out there, family? Welcome back. We have another video for you today. Hope you're doing well out there. And before we get into it, this is not financial advice. If you choose financial advice, seek out a professional and do your own research before you invest in the stock market. All right. So uh, the market, the market took a dip today based off of the news, basically the news that the Fed jacked up uh, interest rates again by another, I think, 0.5, uh, five basis points. And um, so, of course, that, that sends shockwaves out a little bit. And Tesla, I think Tesla took a dip and quite a few other stocks took a dip. Um, it was down today. So, you know, we're going into 2023 <clears throat> and many feel that the Fed is forcing a recession. They, I, I, mean, I feel they are too. They're forcing a recession to happen. Uh, they're saying that people are still spending too much money. People are spending too much money. But hey, they gave us stimulus money to spend to prop the economy up, right? A couple of years ago. they, they I don't know if y'all forgot about that or if they forgot about it. Uh, in some ways, they created this mess. Or I guess maybe they prolonged the oncoming mess that was looming. And in some ways, maybe they made it worse. Maybe it's going to be worse than it would have been if they had just let things play out. I don't think it would have been as bad as it's going to be. Just my opinion. Um, the job market, you know, is, is, you know, they're trying to force, I guess, a situation where uh, companies will not be hiring as much. Um, yeah, people, you know, people are just spending too much money. And people are spending a lot of money they don't have as well. Credit card usage, they say, is through the roof. Um, I mean, record there's record spending with uh credit cards so i say all that to say this <clears throat> um what i what i am doing and this is my journey i'm not telling you what to do but you know i'm sitting on the sidelines a little bit i still do my my swing trading here and there but um I'm kind of, as far as doing heavy investing and, you know, like I was, I'm kind of sitting back and kind of, kind of watching and waiting because, you know, and, and there, and right now there is no right or wrong with that. Now I, I wouldn't jump in real heavy with day trading or swing trading, not real heavy right now. Um, it's, it's, I think it would be a good idea to kind of sit back and watch and, maybe dabble here and there, invest a little here and there, meaning dollar cost average. Nothing, hey, there's nothing wrong with testing the waters out. If you if you have a stock you're watching and, I mean, you want to throw a hundred bucks in it, 50 bucks, depending on what your, you know, your threshold is, uh, 500 bucks, you know, whatever, whatever and, and just and just see what it does. And, and, and more than likely, it's going to dip. It's going to take a dip. And, uh, and again, you know, my strategy, uh, that I've shared with you guys is when a stock drops by more than seven, eight percent after you have invested, you want to double that amount, that original amount you invested, um, and keep an eye on it. If it drops again, then at that point you want to wait until it's at least maybe 10%. And then you want to double the the previous amount, that second amount you entered. You were like, so in, you know, in other words, you put in a hundred, and then it dips the next time two hundred. It dips the next time four hundred. So you want, if you do that, you allocate the funds so that you're able to do that, uh, so that you can take advantage of the 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 uptick, the the reversal, the turnaround. Um, that strategy has worked very well for me in the past um but we are we are in uncertain times right now we don't know how bad this is going to be for sure but um history tells us that it does not last very long all right it does not last very long so um and i say all that to say this 
gathering. Right now, you want to be a gatherer. Gather though, hey, save that money, gather it. Um, wherever you want to keep it at. I know a lot of people online are telling you, you know, don't put your money in the banks, take your money out of the banks. Yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, do that. Keep your money somewhere and then come home and find somebody broke in your house and stole all your money. I mean, I, I don't know. There, I don't know what to tell you on that. You know, if you have a safe somewhere, you want to dig a hole in the ground and bury it, you know, keep a couple of Doberman pinchers in the yard. The guard, I mean, you know, it, it's up to you. But, uh, yeah, I'm not one of those people. I'm not going to tell you to pull all your money out the bank. <clears throat> um, and, you know, maybe, hey, maybe one day in the future, yes. But, you know, I, I don't I don't see that being a problem in the near future. So, you know, y'all, uh, of course, I don't know everything. But uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, that's my position right now. Uh, the crypto market. <sighs> hey, man, the, the crypto market, I, I am swing trading that a little bit more than stocks right now. Uh, I do think crypto is more volatile, even with even with, you know, the stuff happening with FTX. Yeah, that did affect um, crypto a little bit, but I still think crypto is more volatile and you can swing trade crypto effectively if you're patient. Patience is key. You must be patient if you are going to swing trade anything right now or day trade anything right now. Um, you know, if you're dabbling with options, you know, do your due diligence on that. And I wish you the best of luck. And, uh, hey, man, let's just, let, let's be thankful for all the blessings we have, man. And I look forward to a new year. And uh, I, I want to have a positive mindset, you know. Um, I'm, not, I'm not one of those doom and gloom people. I am all about being aware of everything going on and making wise decisions. But I do feel some brighter days are coming on the horizon. And <clears throat> uh, I look at things like we're just going, we're just in a situation right now. Uh, inflation, you know, inflation is still a problem. And I don't care what they say. I'm still seeing things I typically buy every week at the store. I'm still seeing it go up by 20 and 30 cents a week. Each week, it's it's 20 cents more than it was the previous week or 30 cents more. So it it is not stagnant. It's still, it's still going up. It's not stagnant. It's not going down. So I'm a realist. I go off of what I see, not what I hear. All right. I suggest y'all do the same. Check out check out your surroundings before you listen to what people, you know, what the media is just feeding you, force feeding you. Always, always check, you know, um, lift that foil up off of that off of that pan and look at the food before somebody tells you, oh, it's real good. Oh, hey, hey, man, that stuff. Hey, man, that barbecue looks good, man. Hey, you ain't you ain't got to worry about it. Always look at it before you put it on your plate. And check it out. Y'all have a wonderful evening, man. Stay tuned for more videos. And I thank all of you so much, man. I appreciate you. Have a good evening.